Google's video AI generator is crazy good and it's called VO3. But what if I told you that you can use VO3 in an automation process? That means that you don't have to manually type in a prompt to generate a video. You can do this automatically using Pavly Connect and Fall AI. Let me show you how right now. Hey, what's up everyone? My name is George and this is Fall AI and I'm going to show you how to process VO3 to generate videos automatically. Now be aware that Fall AI is the provider of the service and that's what we're going to use for the automation. Now the idea is to generate videos via prompt so we can do this automatically. If you don't need to do this in an automation process, you can jump directly into Fall AI and generate a video here with a prompt. But if you want to generate videos as good as this one right here. Have you seen Google's new VO3 model? Yeah, it's already available on FAL. Yeah, it's all good. yeah. It's crazy good. Have you seen? That was generated automatically using VO3, including the audio. Now you have two options. You can generate the video without audio or with audio. And the cost for this will be 50 cents per minute with audio off and 75 cents with audio on. Now, for example, a five second video is going to be $3.75 with audio. I know it's not really affordable, but the output that you are gonna get is really good, especially if you start using it the correct way, all right? Now, if you need to generate this automatically right here, that is possible too. But if you wanna do it via API prompt, I'm gonna show you how right now. Now, before we get started, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Sales Ape. So if you're looking for an agent, to take care of your leads before actually using human resources, this is a fantastic option. So that means that you don't have to spend hours a week knowing if you got a good lead or not, because Sales Ape is going to take care of the first part. And once you get a good lead, Sales Ape is going to notify you so you can take care of the rest. So once you get started with Sales Ape, you're going to get an onboarding team to help you get started and set up your agent so it works the way you want. So it's custom built to work with your business and your needs. So check out Sales Ape. That link we provided in the description so you can get started right away. Now, if you need to test out Sales Ape, you can go ahead and get started by writing an email right here and talk to it via email so you understand how it works and how it's going to take care of the leads until you are ready to jump into that next step. So check it out. Now back to Fall AI. The idea is to automate this and for this, we're going to use Pavly Connect for our automation. That means that we're going to use a flow and automatically in that flow, we're gonna generate a video with Google VO3, all right? So let's go ahead and create a workflow. And in this case, I'm going to say fall AI videos, all right? I'm gonna create this and we're gonna have a blank AI automation to get started. Now be aware that Pavly Connect doesn't have a native application to connect to fall AI. For that, we are gonna to need to buy the API access to use in, a in Pavly Connect. Now, the beauty about this is that Fagoon, a friend of mine who creates APIs, has this option available. Just scroll down here, go to the link in the description, go to Fall AI, and right now it's $20 to get access, and you'll be able to generate videos with all these available video engines. So AI engines will be available to you for that $20, okay? Now, with Fall AI and the connection to this, we'll be able to generate videos automatically. Now, the idea in the beginning is to have something that's going to automate it. So that means that if you have a flow already working and you want to generate a video out of that flow, then just go ahead and add it in the actions. But in this case, let's just say that we want to do this via a form. So let's just say that I write a form here and that form is going to do something. And from that response, we're going to continue and generate the video. Now, I'm not going to waste your time generating the connection to job form in this case or whatever you want to do. We're going to jump into the actual part where we're going to do the connection. So in this case, in action, what I want to do is search for Fall AI. We're going to select it. And remember, you won't get access to this unless you buy it over here on, it's just a one-time payment over here on that Fagoon page, right? Now for the actions, I get to select the AI agent that I want to use to generate the video. In this case, I want to use VO3. If you don't want to spend a lot, you can go ahead and use something like Kling. For example, Kling Standard is going to be 25 cents, 45 second video. So it's going to be way cheaper. But in this case, we're going to use VO3. We are going to connect. And to connect, we need the API key from Fall AI. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to add a new connection and I'm going to click here for the API access. And it's going to take me directly into the API section of Fall AI. So this is where I'm going to add my key. I'm going to call this delete since I'm going to delete it right now. And I got my API key right here, right? So in this case, I'll get rid of it since I'm not going to use it. 
I'm going to use the connection that I already have. Okay. So once you're connected, you don't have to do this every single time. Now, once we're here, we get to select the action, which is what engine do we want to use? In this case, we're going to go with VO3 and then we're going to use the prompt right here. Now, the idea here is not to write the prompt manually. The idea is for this prompt to be from something that was in the past. So it, it works automatically. So we don't have to type it in manually. In this case, I am going to type it manually since we are just doing a test. So what I want to do is I want to grab these people talking here, but I'm going to change the setup here, right? So I'm going to grab this and let me go ahead and change it up a bit to do something different. Okay, so I changed it up a bit. Now it's going to be in Mexico City and it's going to hold up a road mic and it's going to say that it's available on public connect. All right, so here we go. We got our prompt here and duration. We're going to keep it eight seconds. Aspect ratio is fine. 69 negative prompt. We can add some things that we don't want to have here. For example, um, I don't want it to have uh, women. I want it to have only men or if you, whatever the prompt is about. You can set negative prompts to not make it generate something that you don't want. OK, enhance the prompt. Yeah, go ahead and do so. No seating, generate audio. You have the options for true or false. Remember, without audio is going to be cheaper. With audio will be more expensive. OK, and you have the option for webhook if you want to send that off somewhere else. OK, so in this case, I'm going to save and send test request. Now it's in queue and what I would recommend next in this automation is that we set a delay. So here we go. Now, depending on the prompt and how complex it is, we're going to set the delay to X amount of minutes. All right. So in this case, we want to delay it for five minutes. This is state that we want to keep it safe. Maybe the video is available in one minute, but you never know if there's a lot of videos going on over there at fall and it takes a bit more. So maybe five minutes, 10, whatever works for you, set that up there. So it's going to wait for five minutes. And then we're going to set up the next process for this to capture that video link that was generated. OK, so again, we're going to search for fall. We're going to select it. In this case, we're going to scroll down here and we are going to use get response status by URL. We're going to connect. We're going to save since we already have connection with fall. I'm going to select the URL and that URL will be available in the previous usage of the video generation. So you're going to see here it says response URL. So I'm going to select this. And I'm going to set, save and send it to send it as a request. Now, right now it is still in progress and that's why we are using the delay. That's the idea of this. Now, right now I'm doing this manually and we're actually going to be able to check it manually. But if not, the delay will be the best option for you to wait until that is ready. There's also an option to check if it's ready and we can use the conditional logic for this if you want. So we can use a router. So if it's not ready, then wait a bit more and there's options to do this. But the best one option, the best option is to delay it for a few minutes. OK, so let's give it a few minutes for this to be done and we're going to search for it again to see the results. OK, let's see if it's ready. And here it is. We now have the video. We have an MP4 video generated with Google VO3. Let's see how good it actually is. So let's jump into a link here and test it out. So let's see what the video. Have you seen Google's new VO3 model? It's super good. Uh... Yeah, I saw it. It's already available on Pabli Connect. It's insanely good. Now, if you can notice here, the streets does have that Mexico City vibe and you, you do see also the people have a Hispanic look. So that's a, a pretty good result. So you would actually think that this could be a potential real video since the lip sync is good. The voice is good. The look is good. So that was generated automatically with this. So now that you have your flow right here, it's up to you how you actually use it. So remember before this, before the actual fall AI prompt, you want to have something that will actually generate it automatically. So if you have something already that searches for a web page automatically and you go through the process and you grab the details for it, then you can go ahead and generate this video here with VO3 delay, get that video link and then use that video link to post it on social media. If you want, maybe for a news piece, you have the video and you have that news piece there using the AI from fall AI. Plus you can also mix into this chat GPT or any other AI automation here to generate the prompt. For example, for the news feed, you get the video from VO3 and you get the news feed from the, the chat GPT. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this and you'll have a really unique video that you can start using right now using the fall AI option here with Pavli Connect and the connection that we're going to purchase from Integration Labs that's 20 bucks. So it's definitely worth paying those 20 bucks. If you're going to get access to the API usage really easily with public connect. So definitely recommend it. Go ahead and check out Fall AI right now. Link provided in the description. And if you want to check out sales ape, I definitely recommend that you check it out. If you want to have your leads 
taken care of by Cellsafe in the beginning. And that's a wrap.